Hi everyone, well it's been a long busy day again, um, just caring for Jasper of course is a pretty hard slog and not that I can get much light on it but I've finally um, kitted out this um, play pen or dog pen or whatever one might call it um, and you can see that Maya is in there having an amazing time checking everything and anything that is in there she's been around and now she's going under and over you could say so pretty much all this is is the dogs or a puppy's like playpen you could say and I really wanted something not for my big snakes but for my little ones and I thought that would be perfect for them to have um, to go into they want out of their enclosure and I'm busy um, and it's about you know having to keep eyes on especially the little ones not so much Maya but still she to me is a little one but for the likes of Ka, Apani, Ishi and of course Maya um, perfect even Oscar is going to get time in here of an evening when he's at his door and he's wanting out and Archie of course so all I've really done is put things to go under, things to go in, things to go over. Um, of course, the bird perch that the birds never use, so the snakes get to use that. Boxes, a towel, some hides, some branches. Um, yeah, she's coming around out um, this way. Maybe if I spin around this way. You might be able to see her a bit better. But yeah, she's just, she's checking everything out and it's perfect. Like, think about it. They love to come out, they love to explore. And if you want to confine them and know that they're not going to go anywhere, but in the meantime, they're having enrichment, you know, and enjoying themselves exploring then this is perfect. I can put all four of them in here to hang out. It, it's just, yeah, so easy peasy though. Okay, there's one negative. I must admit, I don't have a lot of space. This is in my lounge room. You can see bird perch. Ooh, Actually, well, my fish are hungry, but I'm not going to feed them right now. But I can show you them. Um, and they're like, hey, feed me. Like, come on. But there they are. And look at this funny looking fellow. My black moor, or molly, we call them, um, is huge and yeah but hmm, there's my red cap and I do have a baby red cap well a young one um, in there oh there he is right there and I have a baby black moor too because I felt that my big guy <laughs> they just got to follow me have an albino uh, calicos um, in there because all the fantails this goofy looking chap here uh, but he has beautiful gold um, on his back here 
at his tail. It's it's just amazing. So anyway, there's there's the fish. Um, just while I was flicking on the light, what are you doing down there? Hey. Okay, resting. And Maya's not resting. Maya is full swing, going for it, checking everything out. Now I just put this over the top. I'm going to turn out the light so it's no big deal. But while I'm in the room, of course I finished off Jasper's um, cage. Because it is a cage, a big cage. So I've managed to put a couple of shelves in, some ladders, hammocks, rope, lots of rope for him to climb on, toilet roll holders, because they love to go in there. That's a little treat toy there. Um, not big enough yet to roll it around, but he will be. Um, some places for him to go and sleep in, him and his new friend when he gets one. Of course, he's not in there yet. He's way, way too small um, at this particular point, but at least I've got it done. And now it's like, where am I going to put it? Um, I, I do not know. Um, basically, this will get moved over. All those toys will be gone. Um, because they're, of course, Chase is not my things. The, so um, the 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 more the rats are going on that um, little shelving unit up on there, and I'll bring it over to the couch and have it out this way. This will go over there, so this will free up all of this space. But for now, I can't do it, can I? So I'm just doing what I can. So there she goes. So just an idea, guy, uh, guys um, and gals. Box with some paper in it. You know, scrunched up paper. Uh, if she wants to go in there and check that out, uh, she can. Um, she can climb if she chooses to. Uh, so yeah, just an assortment of bits and pieces. Um, in there for the snakes to enjoy the little snakes you know you could get a bigger one a much bigger one if you've got big snakes um, or in terms of I could put Lily or Jessie or whatever in here there'd, there'd be no issue but the branches probably wouldn't hold up um, not strong enough for the bigger snakes but certainly strong enough for my little guys and look at Maya she is like wow look at all this space like I can stretch out I can move I can I'm exploring um yeah so anyway guys I'm gonna say um bye um it's it's Jasper's food time you could say I've got a lot of tidying up and putting away to do yet because I only just finished off his cage today. Oh, tonight actually, and I'm, I just quickly whipped this up in about five minutes, you could say. Sawed the, the branches to size and stuck them in and just hope for the best and um, hope that the snakes enjoy it. Of course, I'll switch it up and I'll change things and I'll get things specifically to have in here. Although what's in here can pretty much stay in here. So, <clears throat> yeah, it's, um, she's way over there. Going behind the plant and um, probably will come around behind the box and behind the plant. Yeah, I threw a towel in there texture something for it to feel something for it to lay on if she chooses to yes yeah, so ciao guys I gotta go um, my little man will be at his door waiting for his milk still slowly weaning him 
onto some pallets. Um, hopefully in another week he's going to be eating more than he's going to be drinking milk. So, now how it goes. Take care. Talk to you again real soon. Ciao.